Hi y'all, I'm Allison and welcome to the Mighty Boo Show. Well, it's time to set up my cover page for December. I am going to attempt, attempt being the keyword, to draw and watercolor a title page again. So I had a lot of fun doing it last month with my little turkey. And this month I'm going to try to do a Santa Claus or his face. So I'm again turning to Art Hub for Kids. Great website or YouTube channel rather. If you're a beginning artist like me, he um, takes the time to describe how to do each step and it works wonderfully. But we're going to draw Santa Claus. I'm very happy to report that unlike my turkey last month, this time it didn't take me very long at all to get into the groove and just go with the flow. I wasn't as nervous about the camera like I was before. I just kind of did my thing knowing, I, you know what, I can delete if this looks terrible and I'm just floundering. But I didn't need to. Yeah, and sorry, my head keeps popping in there. My wonderful reading glasses. <sighs> reading glasses, yeah. Don't even get me started. They're a new addition to my life within the past year. And it really sucks having to need them. But I guess it's karma coming back to get me for all the years that I was picking on my husband for needing him. He's five years older than me, so I, I teased him for about five years on him. And now it's coming back to bite me. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. I am, while I'm drawing this, I've got the video going and I'm listening to him describe. And like I said before, he's a great channel. He'll tell you, you know, do an S line here, do a C, draw a six. And it's really effective teaching because I'm amazed. It's Santa is appearing on the page. I really didn't expect to be able to do it. And he just looks so cute. Also doing, Santa needs a sleigh, right? So we've got the sleigh over here. Ironically, I expected the Santa Claus to be the difficult part because it's a face. And I struggled more with getting the sleigh than I did with Santa. I don't know why, but I did. Now, I do plan to do a watercolor cover page every month and make a video about it. But I wanted to ask y'all, would you prefer that I just jump right into the painting portion of it? Or do you like seeing it sketched out in pencil first? So let me know, because so, uh, I was torn on this one, whether I should just jump straight into the water watercolors with the designs already sketched out or if maybe it would be more enjoyable to see the whole image come to life with the pencil drawing first. Now I was more confident using my watercolors this time so I didn't feel the need to saturate the page as badly as I did with my little turkey last month. Speaking of my turkey, I'm going to put a little card up in the corner so y'all can go and see that one if you like. It was 
definitely a learning experience for me, but I think it turned out really good. I really wanted to spend the time to get his eyes correct because I knew it would throw everything off if one was shaped differently than the other. Now the watercolors that I'm using are the Koi um, I believe it's called the, oh, I went completely blank, Field Sketchbox, 24 colors. So it doesn't come with the gray, so I mixed my black and white together to make my own. And the gray turned out darker than I wanted, so what I'm doing is I'm picking up more white and I'm grabbing the wet paint off the edge of his beard to you know, get a lighter gray out of it. So I was able to do, fix two things at once. I lightened the edges and grabbed the gray paint for his mustache. And this, what I'm doing is I've got mostly white on my brush and I'm just dipping into the edge of that gray just to get a little bit of it. And I, I think that technique worked really well. His beard has some texture to it. And I just repeated the same thing for the eyebrows. Now on the website that I was watching, they colored it in with um, pastel oils, I believe, the chalk. Yes, it was. And so they were blending those and of course watercolor blends differently than the pastels. So I kind of had to figure that out on my own, but I think I managed to make it work. And I wanted nice, vivid colors for him. So I'm going really heavy with the paint as opposed to having a watercolor look where it's more translucent. I wanted solid color. I'm just kind of mixing the pink in with the peach to, you know, I'm trying to get a rosy effect for his face because he's cold. Now mix in a little bit of the black in with the red to get like a dark brown or a dark reddish brown. Let me try that again. To get a brownish red, there we go, for the back of his mouth. Again, trying to create some depth. Oh, and I don't think I mentioned, I am using the Pentel water brush.
and up here I'm using that reddish or brownish red rather at the base of his hat to again have some shading so thanks to all of the bullet journals that I've been watching and the drawing websites I'm learning about shading and I'm becoming more confident in doing that so and it does it makes such a huge difference in your paintings when you add the shading and the light effects to it so I'm, I'm excited to see my skills progressing so quickly so even if you haven't you're like you're there's no way I could do this I like the way it looks but I couldn't draw it I couldn't paint this give it a try you may be just as shocked as I was at how well things could turn out because if you would have told me a couple of months ago that I would be doing this I was like you're out of your mind so but yeah just give it a go worst case scenario you've got something to laugh at later yeah, but I guarantee you'll have fun doing it either way no matter how it turns out it's really relaxing and a great way to spend the afternoon I had my Christmas tree in front of me and the Christmas music playing in the background and just sat down and painted the Santa. Isn't he cute? Now, even though I feel like my drawing skills are improving dramatically, improving dramatically, you will, um, there's still evidence that I'm a beginner and don't know what I'm doing. And we're about to have, that became all too apparent with this bag of Santas. I went from memory again without having anything to reference and I wanted to fix the top of that bag and it became a nightmare but you'll see it soon enough anyway to have some color variation between the bag and the Santa hat and the sled I just use you know more of the black and with the red to get that darker shade down on the sled And it's actually a lot easier to draw a thick line with the paintbrush than it is with your pencil. So it's easy to keep the, the thickness um, consistent. Yeah, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, <sighs> yeah. Oh, and I am happy to report that this month I remembered not to paint any adjacent areas that are wet. So that's the key. You gotta let them dry before you go back in and do a, the area in between. Now here is where my newbie status is quite obvious. I was trying to get a shine on the runners on the sleigh and it didn't work. So I'm about to go in and just take the gray back over that and just hide it. Again, I need reference. I can't, you know, freeforming isn't a, a good idea for me at this point.
covering up that white. Here I added some of the brown to the yellow to kind of give that a more varnished look, maybe. Okay, and here I'm about to jack it all up. And the more I try to fix it, it all began with this black dot. I was trying to show the center of the hole of the bag. Now, if I would have stopped, it would have been okay. You know, maybe if I would have stopped, like, yeah, no. We've reached the point of no return. It's about to really become a big mess. Well, here I still, probably still could have worked with it. But once I grab that black, we're in trouble. Okay, y'all ready for it? Here it comes, I think. Yep. Oh, no, first we gotta fix Santa. He's about to really come to life. I don't know about y'all, but Santa just makes me smile. Didn't he turn out so cute? And I'm even happy with the sleigh. decided that the sleigh is more simplistic so I switched out my marker for a broader tip and went back in and made those lines darker which I think worked better the Santa was the size small and this is a medium and you can see the difference it made just by having a bolder line Okay, here it comes. Not too bad yet, but we're about to sink. And here it begins. I decided to, I was trying to create like folds by adding darker fabric. I probably would have been better off doing it with the reddish brown paint instead of what I'm about to do, because I didn't know where they should be. So I just kind of guessed. And I, I don't quite know what I would call this. It almost looks like a flower on the top. I'm trying 
trying to figure out how I'm going to fix that bag. While I'm doing that, I'm stalling by working on other areas. I decide to pull out the red. <sighs> yeah, I really need to learn how to get references before I just go off on my own like this. Because it, it's just, I don't know what that is. And I couldn't, I did try to cover up the black ink, I think with the red. And it wasn't working, so I knew if the red wouldn't cover it, that the white paint wouldn't. So I had to figure out just how to make this kind of work. Anyway, there it is. <laughs> Merry Christmas, y'all. Hopefully, I will have my uh, plan with me ready to go and up tomorrow. We'll see. I haven't even started planning my pages. This is as far as I've gotten. But I hope you enjoy. Leave me a comment and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And if you have any ideas on how to fix my little gift bag, definitely drop me a note. Let me know. Thanks. Bye.